everyone welcome back to my channel in this video lecture we will cover a new chapter of biology that is human health and disease so what is health the state of complete physical mental and social well being is called as health and it is affected by genetic disorders infections and lifestyles good health can be maintained by balanced diet personal hygiene regular exercise awareness about the disease and their effect immunization and proper disposal of waste and many other factors and then what is disease disease can be broadly grouped into infections infectious and non infectious infectious disease are the disease which are easily transmitted from one person to another example aids common cold malaria etc non infectious are the disease which cannot be transmitted from one person to the another example cancer hypertension diabetes common disease in humans the disease causing microorganisms like bacteria virus fungus protozoa helminthes are called as pathogen and they can enter the body by various means and multiply and interfere with normal viral activities then typhoid is tested by viral test and it is called as salmonella typhi its symptoms are symptoms are sustained high fever weakness and stomach pain then pneumonia is it is called as streptococcus pneumonia and hemophilus influenza its symptoms are fever chills cough and headache and it if its effects are alveoli get filled with fluid leading to severe problems in respiration then common cold it is caused by rhinovirus its symptoms are nasal congestion and discharge sore throat cough and headache and it affects the nose and respiratory passage malaria was is uh, caused by plasmodium and the chills and the high fever returning in every 3 to 4 days are their symptoms and in this the parasite multiply with, within the liver cell and then attack the rbcs then amoebaceous or amoebic dysentery caused by antamoeba histolytica its symptoms are constipation abdominal pain cramps stool and mucus with mucus and blood clot and infects the large intestine in ascariasis is caused by helminthes ascaris ascaris and its symptoms are internal bleeding muscular pain fever etc and it affects a healthy person and it gets infected through water vegetables etc then the life cycle of plasmodium it enters the human body as small sporozoite through the bite of infected female anopheles mosquito and multiply within the liver cell later it attacks the rbcs results in rupturing of rbcs releasing the toxin hemozoin responsible which is responsible for high fever and chill recurring every 3 to 4 days then malaria parasite requires two host human and anopheles mosquito to complete their life cycle female anopheles is the vector to this disease this is the flow chart to showing life cycle of plasmodium then what is immunity immunity is the ability of host cell to fight the disease causing microorganism due to immune system there are two type of uh, immunity innate and acquired innate is the non specific type of defense present at the time of birth and provide different kind of barriers to entry of foreign agents into the blood consist of four types of barriers physical barriers biological barriers cellular barrier and cytokine barriers physical barriers are the skin mucus coating of epithelium lining the respiratory gastrointestinal and urogenital tract then physiological barrier acid in stomach and saliva in mouth then the innate immunity and acquired immunity innate is present from birth itself and acquired is developed during the long the lifetime innate immunity remains throughout the life and acquired can be short lived or lifelong innate can contact or exposure with pathogen or its antigen is non essential innate immunity is inheritable it protects the individual from contraction of disease of the other organism acquired is contact with the pathogen or its antigen is uh, essential acquired immunity cannot be passed to the next generation it protects the individual from pathogen present or the other members of the same species acquired immunity is the pathogen specific defense characterized by memory 
and the primary and secondary responses are carried out with the help of B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte. B lymphocyte produces army of proteins called antibodies, each having two light and two heavy chains. It involves two types of lymphocytes, B and T. B lymphocytes show humoral immune response and T shows cell immune mediated immunity. This is the structure of uh, antibody. Antibodies are the protein molecules called immunoglobulins, globulins, and are of various types like IgA, IgM, IgE, and Ig2. The basis of production of antibodies immunity is classified as two: active and passive. Active immunity is the body produces its own immunity antibodies against antigens. And passive immunity is the ready-made antibody that is transferred from one individual to another. Cholesterol contains IgA. This is the best example of passive immunity provided by the mother to the child. Allergies, the exaggerated response of the immune system to certain antigen present in the environment is called as allergy. AIDS was first reported in 1981 caused by HIV. It is a um, HIV retrovirus. Transmission of HIV occurs by sexual contact with infected person, transfusion of contaminated blood, sharing infected needles, infected mother to her child through placenta. This is the replication of retrovirus in macrophages. Then AIDS does not spread by physical contact. It spreads only through body fluids. Okay. And there is always a time lag between infection and appearance of symptoms that may vary from 5 to 10 years and the diagnostic test for AIDS is the ELISA that is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. The treatment of this disease with antiretroviral drug is partially effective, effective and just prolongs the life but not prevents the death. Next is the cancer. It is one of the most dreaded disease of human being and is the major cause of death of all over the world. Normal cell shows normal cell shows a property called contact inhibition by virtue of which contact with other cell inhibitor and controlled growth. Cancer cell loses this property. Cancer cells do not stop growing, resulting to appearing of a tumor that is a texture of mutant cell. Cancer cells do not communicate with each other, they lose the molecule that keep cells bonded together. These cells have the ability to invade or spread to other parts of the body by traveling to the bloodstream. Cancer cells do not mature and undergo apoptosis. Instead, these cells become immature over time. Cancer cells are primitive and they don't have specialized function. They do not recognize signals, hence they, these cells erratically reproduced, reproduce mutated cells. Then there are two kind of tumors, benigen and malignant. Benigen is the remain confined to affected organ, but the malignant spreads to the other part of the body. Causes of cancer can be cancer in new plastic cells that are called carcinogens. Car cancer carrying causing virus are called as oncogenic virus. That is viral oncogen. Several gene called uh, cellular oncogens or proto oncogens have been identified in the normal cells. In cancer detection and diagnosis, cancer detection is based on biopsy and uh, radiography, CT, MRI are useful to cancers of internal organs. In treatment of cancer, surgical, radiotherapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy. Then opioid opioids are the drugs which binds to specific opioid receptors present in our central nervous system and gastrointestinal tract. Heroin, commonly called smack, is chemically diacetylmorphine, which is a white, odorless, bitter, crystalline compound. It is exact, extracted from the latex of poppy plant. Generally taken by snorting and injection, heroin is depressant and slow down body functions.
cannabinoid cannabinoids are the group of chemicals which interact with cannabinoid receptor present in the brain they include hashish steroids and ganja they generally taken by inhalation and oral ingestion known for their effect on cardiovascular system causes of drug abuse abuse curiosity adventure excitement experimentation stress or pressure to excel in examination effect reckless behavior malicious mischief violence drop in academic performance depression isolation aggressiveness aggressiveness so this much for today's video hope you liked it don't forget to like share and comment my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel till then bye bye thank you